Welcome back guys, it's been a few days since I've uploaded because I had to take a few days to focus on work which has been really hard but it's been re very rewarding because now I have a day off and it's gonna be real nice to just sit down and react to stuff again. A lot have happened within the last few days. Uh, we hit 10,000 subscribers, that is a super milestone for me because I've been stuck in the 9,000 subscriber um, place for about two years. Uh, two years ago I think I hit 9,000 subscribers in 2017, August or something. And then after that, I think I stopped up up uploading for a while. And then uh, I think I hit 9.3. And then when I stopped uploading, the, it just everything just stopped. So, and when I picked it back up again now in in May, it slowly started to lift up. But when I posted the finale, it was just well, there it is, <laughs> which is really nice. Uh, I want to thank you all so much for uh, subscribing to my channel. Welcome to all of you new guys who uh, who come in from the finale. Uh, it's about time to come in for Pony. I mean, you still have my older stuff to watch. So if, you, if you're if you new, uh, then I have all the seasons in my resume. So I'm really happy to be one of the, those few who reacted to the very beginning and is still here uh, in the end. So uh, that's really nice. But to celebrate my 10,000 subscriber uh, milestone, why not watch 10 years of Pony. There's a video on YouTube now called A Decade of Pony and it's a, sort of a behind the scenes uh, look on uh, on the show and it, it's actually pretty long it's 21 minutes which I I can't wait to see it I mean it's uh, it's not every day we get, I get to see what goes on behind the scenes so getting to see this is really 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 uh, big of a a chance for me to like experience what it is like for the voice actors and stuff and the the creators of the show too um how it's like for them to be working on this uh, like on the other side of the spectrum of where we fans observe and we just love the show and <laughs> love the shit out of the show so um uh get yourself comfortable and sit down so we can watch it together i don't know if you a lot of you probably seen this already uh, but I haven't, so uh, let's get, just get into it. Uh, before I do that, a shout out to my patrons. The Fluffy Vixen, Narrator007, Shoko, Clarity, Lizzie Akehurst, Scope, Toasty534, Jellyworm, Quentin Martin, Cloudbringer, Vanessa M, whew, James, DJ B Ray, Potterbrony, The Slorg, uh, Corey Smith, Hans Gunther, uh, Vincent Provost, Noel Schornhorst, uh, Loquacious, and Antivi. Thank you all so much for your support. And if you guys want to become a patron as well, go check out the link down in the description uh, to make sure that you check out what what, uh, what it has to offer, the different tiers on my Patreon. Uh, and if you uh, when you uh, when you subscribe, I will send you a message on Patreon. So make sure to check that out uh, whenever you uh, submit uh, any 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 of the tiers. Uh, that's me asking you um, what kind of avatar you want, or you can just send me a message on Patreon as you do that. Uh, it would be much easier for everyone and you can link me any picture you want if it's even um, a pony or it's an anime character or if it's a real-life person or just a cut out of your face I'll do it. <laughs> I'll put it on the board uh, So yeah, uh, if you want to check that out the link will be down in the description and thank you in advance But for now, let's uh, get into it. You never expect a job to go more than a season three seasons is that Jason Thiessen? success Part of me thought this is definitely gonna run a few seasons. I don't think anybody anticipated nine seasons I mean, it's rare that you get to produce a show that hits like this one has it's so nice beer, bro. world There was kind of no way that it couldn't last longer than it did It really is a labor of love across an entire team and I think that's uh, what's made the series so special the I can always tell that it really is a labor colors. of love they're all different shapes and sizes. They come from different parts of the world and they all love each other regardless of what they look like. And I think it's so important to be a part of something that teaches inclusion. There is no absolutely really. so There's true. Not a lot of sarcasm. It is very sincere. I mean, it sets a bar very high on so many levels. To know that it's had an effect on people all over the world, I think everybody was surprised. <laughs> it's lightning in a bottle. I'm just glad we have it. <laughs> Uh, everyone on the staff seems so genuine about it too. Like it really is like like a labor of love. You can always tell within like each episode. It's like a oh the god. The production of My Little Pony really started in the '80s with a wildly successful toy line and TV show called My Little Pony. My Little Pony, and this is where the, everyone gets the girly impression from. And it was all about empowering little girls and to show the characters with 
kind of a depth that we had never seen before. Ugh. No, Ember. Not all little ponies can fly. Hasbro was looking to revitalize the brand, and they were looking for a new creative take on it to sort of modernize it, make it feel fresh, and they found Lauren Faust. My Little Pony was my favorite toy when I was Oh, that's Lauren Faust. So I didn't realize. Oh, Hasbro God. Came to me and asked me if I was she had shorter in hair. It is a TV show. I really just kind of dived right back into how I played with them. So I had this opportunity to make That's so interesting to see the what uh, how they it animated it. The new series is more expansive. It has such a deep, rich lore, which I think is a big draw for a lot of audiences. <laughs> My Little Pony was made at a time when people thought that girls of that age were not watching animation anymore. And so it was a oh. pretty big leap of faith. Friendship is magic. I guess that makes sense, yeah. Because October everything was just turning into like YouTube. We were excited to create a show that could be cross generational. Moms who grew up watching My Little Pony could enjoy the show alongside their kids and really. There you go. Adults can enjoy it as well. That they had as children. Uh -huh. Oh, Spike. That looks delicious. Spike. <laughs> One of the things that really stood out about Lauren's vision for My Little Pony was the friendship theme. And it was such a strong- I hear that Call of Ratara theme in the background. So many stories. This particular version was Call really all about these relationships and all the kids want to be part of Equestrian, part of this magical world that Lauren Faust had envisioned. There's these really relatable, adorable, endearing characters. These characters have flaws. But Twilight and that's how you make a good character. Otherwise you have a Mary Stew. If you don't have flaws, there's just no character. Like she's coming in close to camera. I think this show provides everyone with a template for friendship. It delves into nuances that other shows don't do. The girls have evolved over the years. It's not one of those shows where this is someone's personality forever and ever. What's your name? Yeah. Um, I'm Fluttershy. <laughs> We're going into I'm that sorry, topic of Fluttershy like development. Fluttershy it's just my favorite. So sweet and shy, and she still keeps who she is, but she learns to stand up for herself, yeah. and she then has that as a personality trait. Yeah, I absolutely love stronger. that. Other ponies may be experts in their fields, but animals are my field of expertise. And if I say this is what I want, then this is what needs to happen. Oh, for the animals, of course. <laughs> Almost 10 years ago, there really were not a lot of shows for girls that featured this kind of multi-dimensional character that they could relate directly to. I think one of the things that's really know, cool right? about Pony that right away made it stand out as a different kind of show is that it was this weird mixture of really emotional storytelling, big, huge, like Star Wars, Lord of the Rings level mythology, and then Looney Tune style humor. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice way of putting it. And that mixture and blend of all those things made it appealing to just a much wider audience than we would have expected. Yeah. I think it's a good co-viewership show. I mean, adults can watch it. There's with just a lot of elements to take into it things. as to why it became you never so popular. Kids, you write great stories and that gets viewership. And I think my life exactly. is a perfect example of that. Our animation team It's not for kids and well, it kind of is, but kids yeah. can you know. watch together. Exactly. With complete plot lines I don't know how many times we have to like really engage say that. Of all ages. I think for a kid, this show brings just really positive themes and really fun characters that they can see themselves in. And I think for the adult audience, it's an escape from a world that can be kind of Okay, I had to pause because my phone was ringing. I didn't realize until really late, but I really had to answer that because uh, they had to finance my car. So, long story, I'm getting a new car and I have to take up a loan. So, anyways, let's continue. Uh, I'm at 5.31. Stressful sometimes and a little dark. And even though we deal with dark things, we know at the end of the day, like, Friendship is going to prevail over everything, and that is a world in which I would love to live in. <laughs> I know, right? You did it! Only because you were here. What is great about the show is how people of all stripes, boys, girls, old, young, could look at it and see something in it that is reflective in themselves, something they could relate to. I think that it just tells good, honest, heartfelt stories. 
you know, Lauren did a really great job Does. in setting it up. She created really strong archetypal characters, set a really good functional look for the show. And then after she moved on, you know, it was easy to take that and continue to run with it. I think audiences keep coming back because they're cute. <laughs> <laughs> And they love each other so much. That too. That's something that you want to be a part of. What I really wanted to present in the show was that you don't always have to get along with with somebody to still love them. Hey, Pinky. Sorry yeah. I accused you of misjudging Gilda. Looks like I'm the one who misjudged you. It's okay, Twilight. Even you can't be a super smart smarty smart pants all the time. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. It's a triple. Let's leave it on one of the tracks for now. This is 25A take. 31. I really thought I had my taste. Oh, this is what I wanted to see. Out, but I was completely and totally wrong. My favorite part about working on the show. So is weird to like see them getting to character with, like no that. No question. So all I need to do is get Twilight to talk about a couple of memories. <laughs> what do you mean that's that? We don't have anywhere near enough memories for your. Oh, that's record. Starlight. What exactly are you doing back here? Surely you have enough memories by now. Probably the biggest challenge with voicing Twilight Sparkle is that she's often quite wordy. We are not canceling. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. It has to be okay. It's been so terrible so far that it can't possibly end up. Oh, oh God. Sorry. And we'll have you know seventy lines an episode, and because I tape by myself, I'll be catching up, and sometimes I'll do five episodes in a row. And oh yeah, she does. I forgot about that. Screaming if it's just you for four hours. At the beginning, when we first started, I would always record Applejack first, and then Rainbow Dash. That must be so sad recording by yourself. But over time, well, she enjoys that. Sort of maybe went through puberty or something. She got a little bit lower in my register. I saw a vision of us feuding and fighting. And then Rainbow Dash has always been a little bit higher. There's gonna be fire. Oh, so high. <laughs> clench everything to get her voice out. The other cast members are incredible <laughs> really? because they have done so much work. Hey, Sunset Shimmer. Or they're, or they're playing incidental characters, and they can pull these creative beings out of nowhere, like right out of left field. Twilight's so busy, the spa's the only place we could think of where we might run into her. Ah, oh, Rainbow Dash, so good to see you again. And then she heard the comment, visited cheese sandwich, and realized what my life's purpose was. Pinkie Pie, it's just she talks so incredibly fast. Isn't this exciting? Are you excited? Because I'm excited. I've never been so excited. Well, except for the time that I saw you walking into town and I went. Sometimes I'll do a line really, really fast, and then I'll get the note that no one understood anything that she just said. First, I will toilet up and better. <laughs> Can you do it faster? And then she remembered the time I rescued Ponyville from the Paris Brights. People ask me all the time if um if it's sped up in post, but it is not. God, it looks like she's having so much fun doing that. This decompression thing is great. At the times when somebody else is up at the mic, you get to just enjoy it. And when it's your turn, you get to get up there and then tickle their funny bones, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do one more time and just a hair quicker on each of those. As we work on the My Little Pony show, it really is a labor of love across an entire team. Oh, this is so fun to just sit and watch. I love that they have DHX bottles and, uh, standing around. They are just so friendly. Storyboard is not the easiest job. We actually work really long hours. You have to do 900 to 1200 panels, backgrounds, and characters. There's so much. Yeah, animation's gonna take and so long, that's dude. That's quite a gift to have people that care about what they're making and plusing it like across the board. Maybe try not to make it feel quite so open, but. And then I was thinking with this shot. We're on the writing side, we kind of get the first crack at it, and we try to make the best episode we can. And then it goes to the artists and the directors. And then sight gags are being put in, and little character moments that you didn't even think of. And so it's really exciting as a producer to see the animatic come back and be like, that's brilliant, I love it. And then when it goes to full animation, it's like even more amazing than I thought. So all along the way, everyone's just kind of building on it. It's great to work with that kind of talent. So working <laughs> on the show has been really great for me, especially uh, as a woman in this industry. Most of the shows I worked on when I was coming up were always boy leads. There were girl characters, but they were always the sidekicks. They were also had to be everything to every woman. So they were always really good at sports, Yeah, I have noticed really there's a lot of girls really smart, uh, and really funny and this really everything. Universe. And they, they kind of were with these boy characters who were kind of dopes. And they always ended up being kind of the nag. It's mostly female characters <laughs> and they aren't perfect and they do fight with each other sometimes. They don't always see eye to eye, they don't always get along. And I think it's like a really yeah. good message. And I think that girls were able to see themselves 
in these characters in a way that really represented individual qualities that they could relate to. You actually get to bring your own personal experience as a woman to these characters, and you get to bring women's perspectives to the screen, and it's just not something that happens enough. Hmm. same thing? I think that there's definitely a ripple effect happening in animation. Lots of new cartoons are being made with, with that in mind, having just really awesome female characters. I'm hoping that we're on the on the edge of a nice wave. Seems to be a recurring wave theme wave lately that a lot of the, like female focus on characters. On the storyboard floor. Not that I have and any complaints about it. It's great. Crew is women. <laughs> I had a meeting one day Every single person in there in a senior role was a woman working on a woman's show for girls. It was amazing. <laughs> oh my God. So the obviously it was kind of weird. <clears throat> Big adventures waiting, obviously. One of the most oh, she's singing the final the song. Oh my God. Working with an incredible cast and crew. We talk about like lightning in a bottle, just like the right people coming together. My like, man. Really good dynamic. Yeah. And it's just like, really been very fun. <laughs> it's like the last thing there is. <laughs> the music that's been written <laughs> has been epic. Really incredible <laughs> musical uh. theater style type of songs. It isn't that I'm ungrateful for all Oh my god. I have such good memories with this episode. Twilight. I haven't seen it in so long. Character. She's got tons of personality. I love being able to be the singing expression of her character because she's just so she's got so much depth when my role is meant to be. i love that on my little pony we did some big musical featured episodes like song episodes I am Pinky, the bestest party pony they're essentially like little mini musicals so like five or six songs in one episode winter wrap up winter wrap up let's finish our holiday cheer winter wrap up winter wrap up Every pony has times in their lives. And we create this really fun kind of musical this, theater storytelling experience. And we've done one of is those. Is this another song? Season, I, I song forgot. What is that from? When I started out, I was unsure. I thought I knew all that I needed. Didn't know what to expect. <clears throat> The actors on the show are incredibly talented singers, which is such a blessing. And so they do uh, get the songs in advance to practice to. They Why do they have to home, tug on my heartstrings? Super prepared with the last and we one. We get really down to the details of the performance that way. Oh no. The music process on My Little Pony is pretty similar to a lot of shows. We start talking about the songs very early on. So amazing, though, for Ashley Wall. She's actually a singer, like, but nice her ability to, like, bend into series. all of the characters' voices and sing in those voices. The songs are recorded with the rest of the dialogue so that they can animate to the songs. Each one of us has something special that makes us different, that makes us rare. Makes us rare. It's incredible how I know a lot of the lyrics of songs I haven't heard in years. Structure, so it'll just Goes to show how many times I saw the episodes. That's enough to send to all the rest of the creative team and have them give their input. And then from that point, we start adding the layers. And that's where, you know, we put in more voices and add the orchestra and all the guitars and all the instrumentation until the day that we come here and we record uh, the, the actual cast. He's so passionate about it. Oh, I love it. We've been very lucky on My Little Pony to have these incredibly talented guest stars appear and, oh. <laughs> and sing songs. So, like, we wrote a song for Felicia Day, uh, John Delancey, and this season, uh, Weird Al comes back. If you want fluffer, then stick with cheese. Accordion solo! Sweet cheese! What? He does his, <laughs> like, reunion song, which is amazing as well. This is where the magic happens. Oh, he didn't film when he was there? God damn it. When is this? When I was oh, this is... Oh, I, I, can't, for, I can't remember where this I is from. the result of doing a song and having it turn into... Basically a, an amazing music video. It's so cool to be a part of that. And like the little girl in me is going... I'm a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Friends can change the world. Friends can change the world. 
What is this? I don't want it to be over. It's weird. There's so many. Th oh, this so is from like, season. Thinking about some five. of these song sessions and how I wanted to pull my hair out a lot of the time, and now I'm like. <laughs> Oh, uh, the creepy shot. I'm never gonna have that again. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like it's nice to know that the actresses yeah. feel the same that we do. My sister and I have ruled this land for quite some time, but even we know that change eventually comes to us all. And though we know it can be unsettling, it's as natural as the rising and setting of the sun and the moon. I think it's been a real honor to be able to end the show. Oh, that's Jim. Properly, okay. Not just have it stop. But give the characters and the world a bit of a proper send off. Maybe see a little bit of where the characters will go in the future and say goodbye to characters that we've been with for nine years. Now that the show yeah. is wrapping up and it's going to be over, I have stockpiled ice cream in my freezer and uh, I've got some jammies and there may be some crime. <laughs> the thing that I'm the most proud of is that we've been able to reach so many people around the world with our positive messages about friendship, teamwork, and love. And I can't reiterate enough how uh, grateful I am for, for the people who love the show and, and kept it living for so long. It's, it's kind of a dream come true. It was a little bittersweet knowing that it was going to be the last season. And I've yeah. already spoken to fans at cons who are both devastated and satisfied that it's going out with a bang and they appreciate that the show's been able to maintain this level of intrigue and entertainment for them. I think My Little Pony will leave a legacy of just really high quality children's programming. I mean, it sets a bar very high on so many levels, whether it's the storytelling, the animation. It the sets the bar really high for and the I next gener that's generation. I'm really proud to be a part of, and I think we created something really special. It's like the end of You have, era. absolutely, or hands down. The beginning of an even more awesome era. All I know is whatever comes next is going to be perfect. This might be a once in a lifetime thing. I mean, it's rare that you get to produce a show. All these that things are. Kids like this one has. But yeah, I'm this really, really proud is. Of the reach it had. I think everybody was surprised. <laughs> and that's how Equestria was made. A show like My Little Pony is a show that only comes along like maybe once in your career. And it, it's rare to be able to work on a show that amazing for that long. You never expect a job to go more than a season <laughs> or two seasons. Three seasons is a success. There's a way of telling stories in My Little Pony, and there's a heart that yeah, you were supposed to end it on season three. You put into every show you do after that. I don't know that we'll ever reach the heights yeah. of My Little Pony, but it's something that I think we're all going to try and do. <laughs> that's good. It's so rewarding to be a part of. But it's never going to feel the same. That's so beautiful. When I watch the show, I just feel so proud to be a part of it. The fandom I'd is imagine. so unexpected. That's going to last and have a long life because it made an impact on so many people. Every time I look she just, at it's the just show her regular or speaking voice, some or sense of chimera. Any kinds of merchandise, you see the ponies and you have to smile. And knowing that it brings happiness to people all over the world is such a rewarding thing. Yay. Ugh, you're gonna <laughs> cheer for me like that? Louder. <gasps> Yay. The thing I'm most proud of about Friendship is Magic, I'm proud that I could make a show for girls that was something legitimately entertaining to watch and wasn't talking down to girls or stereotyping them. My little pony, yeah. my little pony. Lauren is an incredible creative steward. She really led the charge in the beginning of Friendship is Magic. Yeah, she created the world, essentially, for you to work around. Music albums, TV specials, and an ongoing <laughs> digital series on YouTube. And our spinoff series, Equestria Girls, launched in 2013 as a movie. Now coming up next is the new all CG My Little Pony movie, the second one, and we know that everybody is gonna love it. And we have a lot more Second things one. in store for the franchise. Stay tuned for lots more My Little Pony content. What do you mean, second one? Oh no, don't hit me with this again. Why you gotta hit me with that feels? 
You silly idiots! <laughs> oh, don't do that! Oh. That was great. That was real fun. Ah. Whew! That was some real fun, uh, 21 minutes. Uh, oh man, there's so much to, like, think about when you process something like that. I mean, you can obviously tell that they have a lot of passion for the show, even, like, after all these years. They still give it their best. I mean, like, yeah, we can <laughs> chat about all day how some episodes are not as good as others and how, like, some episodes have, like, uh, degrading uh, character development and all of that but I mean at the end of the day they still have a lot of passion for the show and they like when you're a writer and you don't pay attention to everything that happens and some things get like lost in production I mean like for example if the CMC is like hey let's go on a train and mess it up but they've already been on trains before and they 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 made it work earlier and they somehow don't at uh, the other times and it's like okay well I understand that people are going to be angry about that because it's like degrading character development. But it's what happens. I mean, yeah. It's what happens. Uh, and just you can really tell on the voice actresses as well. Ashley Ball and all those. Um, uh, they really didn't want it to end, kind of. I mean, like, it's, it's a sort of situation where you don't realize what you have until it's gone. And we, I, I think I can relate to that so much. In a lot of different ways with uh, uh, just, I don't know I can't really put it into words how it feels because you really have to really really have to experience that to be able to feel it and I think a lot of you people do especially with My Little Pony that you you don't realize what you have until you've lost it it's like you're expecting a new season and it's like eh, okay cool but then like you know that you're not getting a new season it's like fuck <laughs> you know <laughs> It's it's um it's a very emotional thing, and it's really hard to deal with. But once you've gone through it a couple of times, it gets easier. Uh, I've been through it a lot of times with a lot of things, so it's hard still, but it's 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 easier to deal with. Anyways, I've been talking too much, and I have to like try and apply for my car that I'm gonna get uh, really excited. I want to show you a video of my new car. It's not gonna be like some sort of Lamborghini because I I can't afford that. It's just a simple car. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you to all you new subscribers out there. Really appreciate you subscribing to my channel. It's been, it's been a great couple of days seeing all you new people come in leaving really heartfelt comments on my channel. And thank you all so much. Really means a lot to me. I'll see you all in the next video.